At least it's not an axe. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of me. So this actually was just played on the CBC on our NPR um, station. As part of someone's playlist, they had an author in who had just written uh, a book about uh, 17th century um, colonial history, and uh, specifically about a, a missionary who comes and lives with a, a Huron native group. Um, now, his work is fiction, but I mean, that's certainly a lot, it happened a lot back then uh, in Canada and down here. <laughs> now, in this particular case, the guy in question um, was named Father Jean de Brébeuf. Now, Father Jean, came across, he was part of the Jesuits, a very, very stern, very straight-laced order. And he arrived as, you know, this black-robed man into a community of um, Huron native folk. And of course, he had this mission. He wanted to tell them the faith that he felt, you know, the faith that gave him joy and the faith that gave him hope for the future. But he arrived, of course, in a perfectly wonderful, self-sufficient community. And they looked at this guy and, and probably said, yeah, okay, you can live over there. We're not that interested. Um, Father Jean didn't have any way to even start the dialogue because, you know, completely different languages, completely different cultures. He did something very clever. He started to learn their language rather than insisting that they learn French, which was the first surprisingly humble thing that he did. And uh, as he learned Wendat, the Huron language, he started to write them down in his journal. Every time he puzzled out a word with his new neighbors, he would write it down. And as soon as he had enough words, he started to write them songs knowing that music would help to bridge the gap and give them something to share. And so uh, the tune of this is actually period. It is a 16th century French tune, uh, La Jeune Pucelle, and the lyrics were written in the 1640s, so they're just sort of on the outside of what the SCA looks at. So I, uh, I actually learned this um, in school in French, but I'll start in the Huron, the way it was originally written in the native language. This is known as the Huron Carol. Jésus est né, il est son Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Saint-Sa
Let no man heed the devil more, for Jesus Christ has come. But hear ye all the angels sing, a merry maid for Jesus King.